Hey, hey, what is happening? All you masters of manufacturing. Here's Quasar here. Um, back at it with car manufacturer. Now, if you look, I've got a few things different here. The problem was my first go round, I went bankrupt. I went bankrupt fairly quickly too. Um, a few things I didn't realize. One, if you're like looking at this car, you can increase your price here way above 100%. But I didn't know that in the very beginning. Nor did I know it up until, I don't know, a few minutes ago. But if you notice, I've got up to 24, 24 grand, 25 grand, basically. I was able to achieve this without going above 100% mark on the price settings. So, and yeah, it's a slow, slow but steady process. And that's basically what I've needed to do. Um, a few things that I, I did change. One, I didn't make this as big. So initial cost, our building initial cost wasn't uh, all that. Um, a, my storage area was small. So I was running with two conveyors and just one conveyor that goes completely out the door with two bays, right? Um, when it came to my research building, I also kept it fairly small and kept it to two researchers and only hired two researchers. Uh, mechanics, I've got four mechanics. I've got um, two on each assembly line right here right uh one salesperson brian right here is my salesperson um he's the only person now i did make this a little bigger than i wanted it to but that's okay and it's still stuck with three car parking spots now how i ended up doing this was uh my trifecta was the very first car that i built and much like we did in the first video we went with the carriage Right. So I built these two cars. Um, this was kind of kind of OK. I went down. I was looking at this down here when it reached. Like almost a full bar here, I swapped over to the carriage. So what I was thinking, of, this is like the popularity, right? So this is like really, really popular. So if you looked at. Um, Let's see, where's my stats at? The bank. Um, no. Sales. Um, see, I kept it at 95%. I kept this one at 95%. Um, the carriage, I kept at 95%. And I kept selling them that way. Uh, I have not sold the Cooper. I have not sold the XLR Coupe yet. Nor have I sold the Bucket T4 yet. Uh, right now, we are working on the Phantom, which I've raised it to 100% increase, right? So the cost of my parts are 560 and the income is 560 So, and it's become very popular. It's, it's still on a growing trend of being popular. What I noticed is once the car stops being popular, you need to switch up your cars. So that's what I ended up doing was I went with the trifecta. When the trifecta started... Uh, looking like it was done once I had, actually, once I had the carriage done, um, I went to build a carriage. So that's how I started doing it. So I would build a carriage on one platform and built the trifecta on the other, um, swapped it over. And then with the parts, if you notice with the parts, um, for content down here says sell all unused parts. You have a car, if you swapped over your car, then there's a lot of parts over here that's unused. I just sold all my unused parts and gained a little cash that way. I never, ever had to go to the bank. Never. So I am actually very happy with the way things are going right now. Look, I've got, I've got a Phantom in the driveway here. I've got uh, Brian here looking to sell it. And I'm up to 25 grand, right? And I've got this car that's getting ready to be built. And this car that's finishing up as well. Now, the one thing I have noticed as I've been running this is it was like two of these pallets were getting full. And now only one pallet is full. So I was looking at um, the content of this. Looks like we're still in pretty good shape. We have two to three parts left of everything. Uh, we are only using... Uh, 7.5 capacity. So it's not that terribly bad, right? 
So that's what I've ended up doing. Now, these guys are researching, um, currently researching this car right here, which is basically a family type car. Um, they're researching that. And that's, uh, I've been keeping these guys kind of busy. Now, these guys have been, you know, doing their thing. So, Kenneth down here. Uh, sometimes his energy gets real low and they start, they start, uh, they need to rest up. And that was one of the things we needed to look at. Um, I went to my tech tree. Um, I did do the management one like I did in the very first video. Uh, I went with sales to unlock more sales slots, right? Um, my maximum sales zones go from two to three. So right now, um, uh, if I upgrade this, this is going to cost me two grand, right? It's going to, my sales zones will go from two to three, but that means I've only got one sales slot right here. So if I wanted to build another car over here, I'm going to need to have another sales slot. So what I'm going to end up doing here is seeing, I'm going to see this right here. I'm going to end production of this one. Once this one is done and off the, the assembly line, I'm going to keep this one for the, uh, for the Phantom for right now. Uh, once this one's done and comes off the line, then I'm going to change it to, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the XL, I, I don't know. We've got the convertible hair, maybe the, the T-bucket. I don't know. That's two point, uh, it's 20 horsepower. Uh, this is two twenty point three horsepower. So is this. So maybe I'll go with the XLR Coupe. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll do one of the other cars, right? So once that gets cleared off, that's what I'm going to do. But I need to get my uh, assembly line, my uh, sales office set up for that. So this is how we're going to have to do this. Um, let's position my office. See, I've got so my office here. Let's go into editor mode here. Now, um, I'm going to move this bad boy. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to move that. Yeah, I want to move just that. Um, I'm only going to be allowed to do two at a time. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, so this, I need to do that. Oh, we need to remove this. So then, okay, so this is set up for one sales slot right here, right? Now I'm going to end up doing another sales slot over here. So I got to redo my sales slots, right? Now what I can do Move this over one. I'll move this over one. Now I've got two sales slots, right? Let's go ahead and put my desk over here. And then we're going to put another car right here. All right, there we go. Now I don't have a model selected yet because, hey, it's nothing's, nothing has uh, been produced yet. I don't have anything to stick in there, but I do have a sales slot. So that's what we're looking for. And this one just rolled off the assembly line. So let's see here. What do we want to build next? Uh, I think I'm going to do the bucket T4. I think I'm going to do that one. Yeah, we're going to reset. I'm going to do that one. Um, bucket T4. This is going to be... Uh, let's read it. Bucket T4. Okay, we're going to adjust this down to 25% because it seems to be working pretty good for me. Uh, I increased the orders only to two. So like the last time, that was something else I did too. I, I cranked this up to like three or four. So it was like I was spending enormous amounts of cash, right, uh, on my parts. So that's why I, I kind of limited it to the two. So that's done. Um, 
Okay, we're going to start production. We've got parts set up for it. Right? T bucket, Phantom 1. Now, this is the Phantom here. Uh, edit. Yeah. I have nothing here. We're going to head trash this line because I don't need it. Uh, we're going to edit that. It's just to be a Phantom. Yeah, that's all I need. Let's adjust that back down to 25%. There we go. Place order. All right. Now, go ahead and speed it up a little bit and see how this thing goes. Now, what I want to do is have another car. I have got enough cash flow going in. Um, right now, this is pretty good. I've got two of these cars. I've got my salesman over here, Brian Hill, getting ready to... He just sold it. He just sold his car. All right, so that Phantom's out of here. So I'm making some pretty decent money. Um, so here I'm gonna go change the car. We're gonna we were going to go with the, the T bucket four, right? So we're gonna go with the T bucket four, the family car. Um, we're gonna raise this up to a hundred percent. That's as far as I'm gonna go. This is because a lot of people just write, oh, let's just crank this bad boy up to four hundred percent and get all the money you want. I'm trying to challenge myself not to do too bad right now i think 100 percent is going to be sufficient um it's going to be a 604 for the parts and 604 income so it's going to be a little bit more than the phantom so that's going to be cool uh plus what i want to do is go ahead and activate the uh the advertisements for this because i want i want these people to know what's going on um so Go back to here and it's been released all right so people are going to take a look at it oh man this car that's a beauty right that's a beauty so i've got one salesman right now and i'm still doing pretty good as far as cash flow um this is actually going along pretty good 52 20, 20 25 days to build that's 31 days that's another thing too is i was looking at my days building if you were to look at, uh, this took forever to build. Um, this was less. This was even less, right? So I progressed into that. Now, because this one's like this T-Buck over here, way over here, um, takes less time to build that sucker, means you can get more cars off the line, right? Um, production cost is 604. Market value is 12, uh, 1204. Um, so I could actually increase my price here. So I'm looking at this price going, okay, maybe I can increase the price of this thing. So I was looking at 1120, right? Yeah, so I've got it at 100. So for this one, um, I've got it set up for, uh, uh, it, it had it up there. Where, where was it? Where did it go? Where'd it go? Oh, right here. So this is market values, 12.8. So yeah. So I'm thinking I'm doing pretty good with this. Now this Brian guy down here, my salesperson, I think he's going to get, become to get a little bit run ragged because there's two different cars here. Oh, he's unprofessional. Yeah, he probably needs some training or something. But this guy, Zachary, sold. <laughs> I have just sold my very first t4 bucket is that great it's great look i'm cashing i'm cashing out 27 grand so i'm doing extremely well considering um the market right now uh, this bad boy is done uh so we're gonna call this the um, t4 convertible Can't get, yep. All right. Okay, so we'll call this the bucket T4C for convertible. T4C. All right. So you look at our tech down here. Where was that at? Oh, this was like the current tier right here. Um, so 20.3 horsepower. We are basically putting this car out right now. So... Two black cars, meh, I'm not really keen on that. 
I'm thinking about putting the Cooper out there. Also, what I'm thinking about is when I'm going to start changing the names to some of these things. Um, okay, so this is going to take about 8,000 to get. This is a pretty tier 4 car. Don't even know what this one is, but I'm going to try to select it and just see what comes up. Just, oh, nice. A little Roadster. That looks pretty cool. I, I, I think we could do that, but it's red. I don't have any different color cars except for the Cooper. And I think the Cooper is going to be another one that I want to do. But right now, I only, I'm only i only allowed two sales zones right now. Only allowed two sales zones. So I've got to figure out um, how I want to do this. Um, I could increase my... Increase my... My building here. Um, yeah, thinking if I increased my building a little bit, uh, can I move you back? I can move you back a little bit. I'm trying to save some space somewhere. I don't think I can. So, like, I can decrease this sail zone. Decrease that sail zone. Uh, let's see, can I, this is what I'm wondering. I wonder if I could, can't do it because I don't have the technology. So let's go back to the technology, uh, upgrade. Okay. So that's going to give me, that dropped me down to grand, but that will also give me, should give me the ability to give myself another Sales zone, right? Yeah. Uh, let's turn you around. Let's see if I can fit that in there. Oh, I can. All right. Um, so with that, what I'm going to do is I can increase that to there. So that's going to give me another zone. And then I'm going to, what I'm going to do is just increase this. So it just looks, so it looks better. All right. So now I've got three zones two one salesperson. Yikes. He's working his butt off. You know what? He's doing well. Um, let's go look at my people here. Um, He's idle right now. Doesn't matter because he's, there's no cars on the assembly line to be sold. So, you know what? I'm going to give him. Uh, can I give him? Yeah. If you click on him, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to up his salary a little bit. He's very happy. He's very motivated. So that's good. Um, send to rest or send to training. Training is going to be. I'm going to give him another buck because he's doing well. He's keeping the cars out of there, that's for sure. Um, so training is going to be another thing that I'm thinking about for the employees. Um, I'm actually doing well with the production of this. So I actually uh, want to try to say, kind of savor where I'm at because um, I just want to be able to do this correctly. You know what I mean? I want to be able to run a business legitimately and i really don't like this really isn't centered is it me and my ocd-ness 
Uh, it does that doesn't matter? Yeah, that's not gonna matter. We'll just keep it the way it is. Keep this big open area here. All right. So we've expanded our production to a second type of car. And these guys are working well. Um, I'm also going to need something for my employees. My employees are doing pretty good. And I'm doing pretty well as far as... Um, let's see. How is my... Yeah, I see the bucket T's taking up a lot more space. Um, my transporters seem to be holding the load, so that's good. I'm happy about that. What I'm thinking about doing is adding yet another layer here for the Cooper. Uh, but I want my employees to do something better here. Let's go into the editing. Uh, I can take trees. I like my trees. We'll put this tree right here. Do a little decorating while we're here, right? Trees here. Ah, can't do it at the entrance. That's kind of a shame. That's all right. We'll move these out of the way for right now. Transplant them later. Let's move you. I mean, this is research and development. It's got to look pretty good out front. So we're going to do that. Move you out of the way. I don't want to get rid of them because then I have to buy them over again. And I don't want to do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in a door. Right here. For the employees. Uh, I'm going to make another building here. So Roman or... Does it matter? Roman or... Yeah, we'll do Roman because everything... My manufacturer building is going to be... Okay, I've got... Let me see something here. Hang on, before I do anything, can I parking? Dedicated zone for employees. So this is what I'm trying to do is get some place for the employees themselves. Right? Okay. Kind of keeping an eye on my my flow here. Make sure my money is still on mark here. Got two cars. Oh, he's out of here. My cars are selling. So that's pretty good. I like the idea that I've got, got that going on. All right, once he gets this this uh, Phantom sold, and it's sold, what I want to do is kind of uh, redo parking here. Uh, right there. Oh, it's not going to let me. That's kind of a crock. Okay. So that's not going to let me. It's kind of a bummer because what I wanted to do was... I, nope, can't do that either. I wanted to give it another... Wanted to give it another parking spot. There we go. Okay, so I wanted to give it another parking spot just to grow it just a little bit more. Look at my mechanic. 
mechanics. Mechanics have been working really, really hard. So let's... I want to get my pay, get their pay up here. So I'm going to increase their salary. Buck. Buck. I'm going to keep these guys at two bucks. Two. Three. Keep them at 11 bucks. I'm going to keep them, get them up to speed with each other. So I, they're all even. Look at this. Cars are coming off the production line like you would not believe. Uh, that's one thing with the transporters. The transporters also transport the cars across. When I did build this, I built it next to this gate and this door right here. So it's easy access for the transporters to go in and out. That's going to be key. For my mechanics, easy access, quick. And that was another thing that helped build my, my fortune. is just making sure time consumption, they're not going all the way back and forth. Because after a period of time, it takes for, you know, if your assembly line's down here and you're trying to run across to try to get your parts, that's going to take time. And that time is money. So, yeah. I'm out of transporters. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys are busting. You guys are busting balls here. We're going to give you, I'm going to give you a buck an hour. My researchers, they're doing well. I'm going to actually give this, bump this guy up a buck. All right. So, yeah, I am trying to treat my employees with great respect here. Uh, trying to keep them happy as much as possible. My salesman over here is probably cussing me out because he's the only one over here. But he's doing a damn good job of it. So, he's he's doing well. Okay. Um, so, with the tech tree. Uh, for the employees. Uh, unlocks the employee zone. A, des a designated place for employees to rest and inc and increase their abilities. So this is rest objects. This is mechanical expertise, logistics expertise, sales expertise, and research expertise. These are training areas, right? So this gives like a meditation pillow. This unlocks a meditation pillow. Um, this unlocks a radio. This unlocks dumbbells. Uh, mechanics, a boxing bag. <laughs> and this is just a... Uh, uh, a basic basic resting area for the employees um and maybe it'll help boost their morale as well i don't know i'm kind of hoping so so we've already built that up we'll go ahead and we're gonna uh do this for the employees get the uh resting zone uh it's 500 bucks we're gonna buy that um so let's see we'll get the basic resting objects is this the only one? Yeah, current level is the only one. Okay, so let's go ahead and build ourselves a house here, or a building here. Uh, we want to go Roman style. And how far do I have these buildings spaced apart? Uh, basically a block. So this is going to be a small, a relatively small resting zone. There we go. I'm going to put a door right there. Easy access door in the front. Easy access front and sides. Uh, this is going to be designated as the employee resting zone. And I want it close to production line. So that's the way that is. So now, whenever they want to rest, they can go over there. Let's go back into my uh, tech tree. Let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, 3,500 gives me a bench, table, and cupboard. 3,500. Okay, well, not quite yet. I'm not quite there yet, buddy. So let's go into editing. Got chair. Let's get that in here a little bit. Uh, so we'll put a couple of chairs down here. We'll put three chairs down. Yeah, four chairs. Um, what is this? Mechanic holds mechanics tools. Okay.
I have no idea why I would need that, but you know, you never know. Um, let's see here. Where can I, where can I put this? I will put one there. It's 40 bucks. All right. So I've kind of set up a designated kind of like a resting area for these guys. Um, just to see. Oh, he comes in. Oh, he didn't come in. So I don't know how much that's going to be worth. I've quickly, quickly gained uh, gained my money back from this. So that's that was that was nice. So if these guys need to rest, this is the area to go resting on. So they should go like right through here. Easy access. Done. Right? Um, this is a nice resting area. Let's go ahead and decorate this as so. There we go. I want this one farther away. Go. Aha. Looks nice. I think so. All right. Uh, manufacturing is well underway. And we have done a lot. We've gained a little bit of cash. It seems I want to kind of leave things about right here, right? So I want to see how things are going to go. Uh, I've increased my pay for all my workers. I've given them a place to rest. So hopefully that's going to uh, be used. Oh, there we go. <gasps> so basically resting, it, it, it helps them uh, rest quicker. I could probably put a resting area in here somewhere. Which probably wouldn't be in a bad idea. I figured they needed a whole separate area itself. But honestly, I think if we could have, I could have uh, planned that a little bit better. Maybe I could have just put it in here and let them rest in there. But that's okay. All right. So that is what we have right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on the next episode, we are probably going to get another assembly line going. I want to make sure my profits are going to start coming in. Looks like my cars are doing pretty well. Let's see if it is. We're probably going to end up hitting about 30 grand before this is all over. My cars seem to be producing okay. Uh, I am going to put the Cooper on the other line. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, if you like to have a car named after you, Hey, let me know down in the comment section down below. Let me know. I already got a couple of names in line. And uh, be sure to come back and check us out later. All right. That's it for me for today. This is Quasar saying goodnight, everyone. May your manufacturing dreams come true. I'm out.